Right, so uh, before I go any further, I've been away for probably a couple of weeks. For those of you who uh, do follow the videos on a regular basis, apologies. We had kind of Easter weekend, which I was away for, and then uh, it's been the Masters weekend. And generally speaking, putting videos out Masters weekend is pretty poor uh, in terms of viewing numbers. So back in here, it is Monday morning, the morning after the, uh, the Masters. No doubt all of you will have watched that. And I just thought we'd have a chat about what happened, really, I suppose. And uh, what, a what, what a surprise, or who was surprised, really. We've got... It's a gorgeous day, by the way, this morning. Can't wait to get into some golf balls. But we had... Uh, so don't forget, Patrick Reed, Rory go out in final group. All honesty, I was expecting Rory to go out all guns blazing. And if I was a betting man, money would have gone on to Rory to have won. That didn't quite pan out. And what I want to talk about in this video is quickly is, A, about Rory's performance in the Masters and how nerves has affected it and how the history of what's gone on in terms of he's got the Grand Slam thing hanging over him. He's obviously got the last day failure a few years back. I wonder how many, how much that plays on his mind leading to these, uh, this, that final day yesterday. And then your experiences, how have you got on, how have you, have you failed miserably going into a competition, maybe going into the last four or five holes in one of your um, monthly medals, got a good card in your hand, what goes wrong, why do we fail? Talk about that one in a bit, but first of all, the Masters. You've got to say congratulations to Patrick Reed. he didn't play brilliantly on the final day, but he battled hard and he did well. He made putts when he had to, he made shots when he had to, and he scraped down to that 15 under and it was enough to win. Some amazing performances, no, I mean, no more so than Jordan Spieth. Incredible round from Jordan Spieth. Uh, absolute shame that he bogeyed the last, although it wouldn't have made any difference in the end. Um, people like Fowler again, who turns up, and you look at the leaderboard really, these people turn up for major after major and they really are setting themselves as that sort of top, I don't know, 10 to 20 players in the world, really feature in every major at the moment uh, in that final day. Um, but like I said, congratulations to Patrick Reed. but what about Rory? I'm a massive fan of Rory McIlroy. I thought for the three days he played absolutely fantastic golf and he looked really, really comfortable really confident it was great to see him with the putter again obviously he's a lot happier with this new putter he's got stroking in putts making a lot of saves with putts and it looked like i said for me his whole body language just seemed very very confident his short game was good um and like i said yesterday you sort of knew within three or four holes that it wasn't going to be rory's day because his whole body language right from he had a poor first tee shot managed to make a save there but from then on in it just wasn't quite on it and then straight away with the flat stick he wasn't making the putts he didn't look as confident he was playing very very quick as well i don't know whether maybe reed was playing slightly slower i don't know or his normal pace and, and rory was trying to get the game going get a get a bit of rhythm going in his game but he seemed to be playing extremely quick at times and uh, i just wonder and again more interested in your thoughts really how much do you think Rory is affected by this idea of the Grand Slam hanging over him? And like I said earlier, this idea that his final day fail a few years back now, I don't know what year it was, but you know how miserable that was. Is that, play, is that impacting on his performance? Did it impact on his performance yesterday? So that's your opinions on that one. Next thing is your own personal performance and how you deal with nerves do you get first tee nerves do you get more nervous when you're playing the competition rather than with friends and from a personal level i would say yes 100 percent. i think that's an obvious one and um let's see how you do too but i think for me if i play in a competition it is all about the start so if i start off well uh, i can kind of finish well i don't i don't i don't so much get the nerves of seeing the final uh five six holes out that doesn't really bother me too much. I'm all right if I'm if I'm striking the ball okay and feeling good uh, from a good start. I'll generally be able to carry on. Not that I've been in that position much uh, over the last few years, to be perfectly honest. But um, and the same in in match play. Really, um, I love I love match play and I love the um, 
the to and fro of a game and having to make a putt, I kind of enjoy all that bit, but it really, for me, is all about how I start. If I start pretty poorly, I think it's so hard to get your game going again. That's a difficulty. Far different level than obviously yesterday at the Masters, but at our level, at the amateur level, our view, have you played, who's played in, in some medals last year, year before? Have you got any epic fails of your own where you've gone into uh, the last sort of four or five holes? Because most of our competitions will be obviously a single day competition, so it's not much that you'll necessarily carry it over to, uh, to the following day. So it's more about getting off to a good start, getting 14, 15 holes in, looking at that medal card, and all of a sudden the collapse comes in. And why? What is it that affects us? Why is it that we can't see the game out? And uh, whether you're Rory McIlroy at the top of the tree, plenty of justification for him, I suppose, but it's something that you'd think he would uh, now be used to and being in that spotlight and, and where he performs every week but then right down at the amateur level in our monthly medals we still get those nerves and it's part of the buzz of the game I think as well uh, especially the match play situation again where you've got to make a four footer for the win that little bit of excitement is one of those things that uh, never goes away and, and again just on the um, the whole love of the game itself is the fact that I love you can play competitive golf from a young age right in the way to um, old age and having to make a four foot it doesn't matter what age you are in a match play situation you'll still get that buzz anyway quick video put your comments down below love to hear your opinions on what happened at yesterday's Masters um, and also like I said about your own personal experiences when nerves got the better of you that's it I am back Videos will be coming through thick and fast. About to do some club testing and uh, plenty of videos in the next week or so. With this one, thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you don't already. And uh, I'll get cracking and I'll see you very soon.